Hello everyone, Tevin Townsend here. I'm very excited about what I am going to discuss today because I just got a nice prize in the mail and it was my newly issued passport. Now I'm not happy about the card because I don't like that ID is required to explore the world in order to exercise freedom but trying to get away from the system starts out by working your way out of a system you're already inside of and slowly but surely you start to realize that kind of freedom you're looking for so there's not much you can do about it um, but I am pretty happy about it nonetheless because I now have the right to leave the United States so many people are living here and they think they're free but how can you be free when you can't freely go to Canada or across the border or go to another country if you don't have a passport you can't do that then you might start to realize huh maybe this is a prison so this was actually very easy to apply for you, you don't need an attorney <laughs> you don't have to fill out a whole lot of paperwork if you're applying for the first time all you need to do is fill out what's called the DS-11 and this is what it looks like it's a six page document but the first four pages are just instructions and what that means is you'll only need to actually fill out two pages it took me 15 minutes that's it so that's all you need to fill out now you can actually fill this out online on the website here which I have pulled up travel.state.gov they have all the paperwork all the information you'll need there and you can fill it out online and print out what you filled out or you can just print out the PDF document and fill it out that's what I ended up doing ultimately you're just gonna have to get all your paperwork from online or that would be the easiest, easiest way to go about it and then you're going to need to take that paperwork and all your required information to a place that does what's called passport acceptance in other terms you just have to take it to a place where you can apply in person because you can't apply for your passport in person or online uh, what you're going to do is do a pre-application online but it's not the actual application because uh, a real institution like a court has to submit that for you so I went to um, the local courthouse and you, well you, you can't just go to any local courthouse because there are some courthouses that don't do it so you have to know which courthouse which particular courthouse in your county does it or is in charge of that and you can find that information on the website here when you put in your zip code when you're looking for these passport acceptance places it will let you know all the different places local to your area that is approved for passport acceptance I initially was going to go with the post office because I, I said hey you know the post office does this that was pretty convenient but the post office I went to said yeah we're gonna need an appointment and it's going to have to be a month in advance and I just I said nope so um, the courthouse happened to be walk-in I just walked into the courthouse and applied same day one thing I did get wrong is the photo part it does say on the website specifically that you, you you're going to need a photo and it does specify the dimensions instead what I did was I just took a photo and you know, printed it out and I, I presented it to the lady processing my application and I was thinking she would have the ability to scan it and then make the dimensions fit you know I didn't think it was a big deal but apparently you need to have a photo that meets those exact dimensions and then you need to present that to them uh, so what I ended up having to do was I had to go to Walgreens which wasn't a problem it was right down the street and I, they took a photo of me and then printed out uh, a passport qualified photo it's an actual service Walgreens does and I believe Walmart does it as well so you, you might want to just go to one of these places and get that done or 
I don't think it's it doesn't require any real computer skills to size that appropriately I, I'm pretty sure I could have done that myself um, the only thing though is you might need something like a laminated high quality picture like physical photo because that's what they're going to stamp on your application so if you're just printing it out of your house printer it probably won't be accepted so again you might need to go to a professional um, photographic place that is going to print out a nice nice copy of that photo the cost for all of this for me was roughly 160 I think 180 dollars because I paid for the passport card and the passport book honestly I don't know why anyone would pay for the passport card and not get the book with it I think the book is imperative to have to be honest it, it just didn't make any sense to me to have to have the card without the book because you're going to have all your stamps in the book and yeah so that's what it would cost if, if you get both if you just go with one I think it's just hundred and forty dollars if you just go with the passport card the book I believe was maybe forty bucks I initially applied in May I don't know if I'm repeating myself but um, this was issued on May 26 2017 and I got this within three weeks I did not pay for the expedited service and I was expecting that it would take six to eight weeks like they said for the standard processing time but I've done sales and I typically know when someone is trying to upsell me and the lady did try to upsell me but I ultimately didn't pay for it because I didn't want to pay the cash and turns out I was right it's just a way for them to make a little extra money and here's the funny thing about these expiration dates on these IDs is this expires in 2027 so that's 10 years from now which is good my Nevada license renew uh, expires every eight years that's pretty decent as well in Mississippi your ID expires every four years and sooner or later you realize why do I have to constantly renew my citizenship rights because you have to pay for a new ID every few years if, if it's my right if I'm a citizen why do I have to constantly pay for it it's the same with the tags on your car your license plate registration these taxes man why are you <laughs> why are you constantly paying for the same thing over and over if you've already paid for it before so the things you'll need are pretty simple you need a birth certificate social security card and two forms of ID real basic stuff that we're all already used to you won't need anything different and they make us used to having an ID because it facilitates a police state it facilitates control uh, facilitates their ability to have information on everyone and um, the only thing you could get hung up on in my opinion on applying for this is the eligibility requirements and I can't remember where I found this on the website but if you owe child support if you owe the IRS any money heck if you have a felony I believe you're not eligible for a passport and <laughs> what that means is you're locked into a prison and you've got to come up with some really creative ways to get out of it so my heart goes out to anyone in that situation I want to end with this I'm happy that I was able to make this small investment that actually goes toward my freedom because there are a lot of people buying cars and houses that are making investments that put them into debt it's actually counterintuitive and debt is just a form of slavery so look at all the investments you made in your life and then think about what you get out of it and then compare it to what you can get out of a passport which is really inexpensive and then it gives you real wings to travel the world so this has been Tevin Townsend with the Back to Nature